What you got? Hey guys. I've got Ash here with me. Say hi, buddy. You say hi. Yeah. He's not feeling that great. Hey, you don't want that? He's not feeling so great today. He got sent home from daycare. Hey, do you want this? This might go terribly. I don't even know if we'll get through it. I was going to do the keto crate testing for the June box. Here, do you want this? Yeah, you can have that. And since Amos is at the pool with his dad and Seamus, I thought, well, maybe Ash and I can go through the keto crate box. I don't know if a baby will taste some of this stuff, but we'll see. Here we go. May's box. I have no idea what's in here, and I haven't even watched anyone else's... Um, opening of this the folks that I know who have one of these so we'll see if we can get through this before Ash completely loses his mind he's uh yeah he so I took him to the doctor he's got a fever this kid gets sick like every two weeks I don't remember with Amos I remember him being sick some but like god was it this often do your kids get sick this often like literally every two weeks something's going on with this one I don't know okay so keto crate tasting we'll do We'll see what we have. I'm just gonna open stuff and eat it just like normal. Okay, so these, I've heard of these. They're called Prots, I guess. Protein chips, so there's like 15 grams of protein. Zesty nacho, they're vegan, gluten-free. How many carbs we got? Four net carbs. All right, I was smart this time. Hmm. Brought some scissors. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I should. Ash is not keto. He is eating goldfish. All right. Here's what we got. Kind of like, huh? They're all broken up in here. Ooh, but they taste good. They do taste like zesty nacho. So I like the flavor. The texture's kind of all wrong. Kind of like an old, really thin pita. I like the flavor at first, and then it gets kind of like not good. Or not as good. It would do <clears throat> as a vehicle for like pimento cheese or a dip or something, but it's not. I wouldn't just sit there and eat those. Proats. Okay, so these are called. There's a couple versions of this out there. This is called just the cheese. It's Wisconsin cheddar. If you guys have had, yeah, it's just basically, it's just cheese. So if you guys have seen, I think Walmart carries them, Publix does too, Wisps, they're really good. I really like Wisps. I use them as croutons or just like to snack on. They're like little pieces of cheese like this. Mm, well, here's the... Those are pretty good. And you guys, pro tip, take a slice of cheese, just like regular sliced cheese, break them up into like little squares. These are really good actually. Break them up into little squares. Cheese it size or just, you know, bigger. Put them on parchment. Bake them in the oven. 350 for like 20 minutes. You got yourself a cheese it. Um, looks like peppermint herb bag. Like this is, I guess it's tea. We're not going to handle this one right now. Okay. Tangy Ranch seasoned almonds from Legendary Foods. So I am totally a person who will buy stuff from Facebook ads. And Legendary Foods is one of the ones that comes up on my Facebook. Tangy Ranch Seasoned Almonds. So let's check this out. Ash, I don't know if you're allergic to nuts, so you're not getting this. I'm a little scared to introduce him to nuts and peanuts because he's been sensitive to dairy and sensitive to bananas. And on my husband's side of the family... A couple of the cousins have Trina and peanut allergies, and so I'm not, I'm literally going to be the mom with this one. We didn't with Amos, but I'm going to take him to the emergency room parking lot and sit in the car and eat um, peanuts for the first time. So he's a year, and I still haven't done it yet. Okay, these look good. There's like stuff all over them. Five nut carbs. I mean, it's basically the same as regular almonds. That's good. This is really good. It's like... Ranch almonds. That's fantastic. I'm going to eat another one. Um, I might eat this whole bag after I get off this video camera. What do you guys think? Amos is probably more exciting to watch on these videos because he'll actually taste the stuff. Ash is just chilling. Look good. 
All right, we got probiotics, squeezed dried. Dry, dry, dry. Ash likes this one. Apple cider vinegar, lemon, cayenne, cinnamon, ginger, probiotics. I don't even know what this does. Let me see what the directions say. There's three of them in there. Directions. Stir one packet into six to eight ounces of cold or warm water. Store in a cool, dry place. So you mix it. Oh, Ash wants one of those. So you mix it with water. Huh. All right, I'll have to do that. We'll do that in a second. You can hang on to that, buddy. There's three of them in there, so I'll, I'll try one of them. Okay, holy cow. Bacon, jerky, uncured, hickory smoked bacon. This is cool. Mm, no carbs, yep, it's just bacon. Whole 30 proved. Let's eat some bacon. Ash, do you, Ash likes bacon. My video camera is just a little bit high. I wonder if I can bring it down a little bit so you can see his face. Let me show you what I can do. Let's see. Hey, we're not going to have all those or, or the scissors. Hey. Dang. Uh, I don't know if I can do it without making the thing fall. Oh, well. Ash, buddy, we tried. We tried. We'll keep it on my face. It's fine. You're welcome. He's cuter. Okay, where'd the bacon go? All right, kid, you want some bacon? Um, that's amazing. It's like bacon jerky, but it's not all, you know how like you make bacon and then you save it for the next day? Put in the fridge and it gets kind of like that weird. Cold, cold bacon texture. It's not like that. Okay, Ash, check it out. Uh oh. Ash, you wanna try this? You don't want it? Not feeling it? He is sick, so that's fair. Oh, now he's gonna eat it. You wanna eat it? What do you think? There you go, you got a little piece. Do you like it? What do you think down there, kid? Yeah, he's going for more. All right, Ash likes the bacon. He can have that piece. There's two pieces in there. Cool. Yeah. Amos is going to be jealous he didn't get bacon. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, well, another tea bag. Lime and ginger flavored tea. I'm not going to do that right now. More meat. This is jerky. It's like a beef stick. I'm not a huge fan of these guys. I just don't love it. But the bacon one was awesome. What is the brand on that? Peterson's. P-E-D-E-R-S-O-N-S. For that bacon. The bacon jerky. Okay. Oh, it's not as jerky as normal. I'm sorry, but y'all, that just looks gross, right? Is it just me or is that very phallic looking? <laughs> sorry, Mom. I mean, it tastes all right, actually. I could get by with this one because it's not so, like, you don't have to fight it to bite it. <laughs> Ash, do you want to taste some of that one, too? You want to take a bite? Nope. He's not feeling that. He likes his bacon. Okay, what else we got? Oh. This is a grain-free bread mix. Check it out, you guys. So it says hamburger bun. Unbelievably delicious real food. So it's a mix. Hey, that's my box. A mix that says, let's see what you do. Three tablespoons of water, a cup of egg whites, and three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You do what it says and then you bake it. And you got yourself homemade hamburger buns. So I'm excited to try this actually. Um, if you haven't watched some of my other videos, you got bacon in your hair, awesome. Some of my other videos about different gluten-free foods or um, bread options, there's a website called thinslimfoods.com. They have bread that you can order and it's good too. 
um, bread, like sliced bread. Smart, um, Smart Foods has some hamburger buns that are really, really good. They're already pre-made. Killing it. Tell him about it, bud. Yeah, he likes thin slim, thin slim foods too. Okay. We got another meat stick. I think it's the same as the other one, so I'm not going to open it. Hey, chill, bud. Oh, I bet this is delicious. My husband's going to like this. So, a couple months ago, Alterna Sweets had a keto ketchup, and it was really good. It tasted basically like just really fresh tomatoes with a couple of things, like very few ingredients. So, this is a barbecue sauce, and I like barbecue sauce. My husband likes it more. Um... But there's, in two tablespoons, six net carbs. Actually, four net carbs because of sugar alcohols. So here, let's open it up and try it. I might need my scissors. What do you think, bud? Ah, it doesn't open by itself. Hang on. Let's check this out. I was very impressed with the ketchup. And actually, I was very impressed with Alterna Foods their social media presence. So I had posted a couple things about my keto crate and my ketchup and I had made some burgers one night and used it and they came on and made all kinds of comments. They were really awesome. Um, okay, barbecue sauce. Okay, that's solid. That might even be better than their ketchup. And I like ketchup better than, here, Ash, you want some? You try it? Here, put it in your mouth. <laughs> He is closing the lips. Not a fan. Not wanting to do it. He would be a fan. This kid, he eats anything. Anything you put in front of him. Doesn't matter what it is. He'll eat it. Okay, let's get the scissors away from you. Okay, couple more scissors. Ha! Huh. This looks like it came straight from the gas station. Still pickle in a bag with juice. I'm not going to open this one right now. I know that I like dill pickles, and I don't want to make a mess with this juice right here so we're not gonna do it okay very last thing in the box ash might like this one hey da it's okay i'm opening my keto crate jim and amos and seamus are cool. fat snacks chocolate chip cookies maybe Susie will try one of these and see if she likes it ash is sick he had he got sent home with a fever today you want Susie? go get her he said yes please Ah, look at that smile. Okay, last one. Chocolate chip cookie. Do you feel good Yep, solid. That'll do the trick if you want a little something sweet, but it's not too sweet. So these guys are two net carbs. Ooh, it even has a net carbs line on them on there. Two net carbs made with almond flour and some other stuff. Oh, good. You want to taste a keto chocolate chip cookie? Two nut carbs for the whole thing, so that's probably only like one. That was really good. I like it. Okay. All in all, pretty good, right? All in all, this is probably my favorite keto crate to date. This was the June crate. It's a monthly subscription. I can't remember how much I pay for it because I signed up for it a few months ago. I'm sure it's like somewhere in the $30 to $40 range. I, I really can't remember, to be honest with you. They send all this stuff, and it's different every month. But this one, there was nothing in this one that I was just like, ugh, gross. There was a couple of those in the previous two crates. But this one, I mean, other than, what's the one thing I haven't tried? The teas, which, I mean, how are you going to mess up tea, right? Um, oh, you know what? I can try these guys. You're supposed to mix this probiotic stuff with water. This looks like enough water. Here. What do we have? I've got a bunch of kid cups. Here we go. This is a random jar. I'll just pour some water in it. We well, might as well do this. We're going to do a lot of taste testing. Let's just do it. Okay. How much did they say put in there? Do y'all remember? Six to eight ounces. That's pretty good. Okay. I do actually need some probiotics, so that's good. So Ash like the bacon. It's like bacon jerky. It's actually really good. It's awesome. Okay. Is that a plus okay. Food? It's chunky, powdery stuff, and it smells like not a thing I would like. But let's go for it. I still have to eat supper. 
What? Oh, he still had to eat supper. Yeah, he still had to supper. Even though. Yeah. Uh, no, All right, let's just eat the cookie. Stir this up. I mean, this looks funky, right? Mmm. It says stir, so that's what we're doing. Stir it. This might make me gag, girl. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't taste that bad, but there's chunks in there still. See? There's things in there. Did it say warm water? Cold or warm. It probably would... Mix in better with warm. Okay. I'll let you know. Oops. Okay, it's really not that bad. Okay. It's really not that bad. It tastes basically like what it says. Apple cider vinegar, lemon, cayenne, cinnamon, ginger, probiotics. So I don't taste the apple cider, which is good because I don't like kombucha. Um, so this isn't bad. I guess I'll have to read about the purpose of it. I mean, I guess it's to get probiotics into your system, which is... A good thing. What if healthy can taste good, be affordable, and fit into your pocket? Products. Da, 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 da. That doesn't really tell me a lot, so I'll have to go read about it. Uh, I mean, it's really not bad if you need some probiotics in your water. It tastes like um, I, almost, you know, have you guys ever done like lemon essential oil or um, like cayenne and like a veggie juice shot or something? I don't know. I'm a little granola sometimes, so I like that stuff. This really isn't bad. You can taste the cayenne. It's not overpowering. You can taste the cinnamon. None of it's overpowering, so this is good. Okay, better than I thought. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped about this. Of all the things that I tasted, I would say my least favorite was the Protes. The Zesty Nacho was really good. It tasted like Zesty Nacho really quickly, and then it kind of got into a more cardboard taste. But this would be a great vehicle for the dips, any of the dips. Um, my other, I mean, give me chocolate chips. I, I love those. I was really impressed with the Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. This is excellent. I can't wait for Jim to come and try this because he's the barbecue sauce fanatic. And this was really good. The bacon was good. I'm curious to see how I'm, I'm, what's the right word? Oh yeah, I'm hesitant to say this is going to be amazing just because, um, I don't know, some of these baking mixes. And it's a baking mix for hamburger buns. So that could be weird. Could be great. I don't know. And then the other thing that I really loved is this Legendary Foods Tangy Ranch Almonds. There, there's some stuff that show up on Facebook ads with Legendary Foods, and I've been honestly meaning to go and check them out and try them um, for some other things. So you guys go look that up. Um, I'll post in the comments if there are any good coupons for any of these items, um, any coupon codes or anything. But, yeah, good job, Keto Crate. This is my favorite one yet. All right, see you guys later. I'm going to go and eat more of these things.